If you use Chrome, Brave, Firefox, or any other browser other than the one that came with your machine, you've likely considered removing Microsoft Edge. Unfortunately, you probably discover that you can't. Well, technically you can if you know a few things. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to effectively and safely remove Microsoft Edge as well as prevent it from coming back. This is Nico Knows Tech. Nico Knows Tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech, number one channel with the news on check. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to locate the setup installer for the Chromium based Microsoft Edge and you may have a different version there's a lot of versions out there so it won't be in exactly the same place but the general location will be here but the most important thing we're looking for is we're looking for the numbered folder which will have the version number so we're gonna go ahead and locate mine and mine might not be this exact location and I'll show you we're going to C program files x86 and we're going to navigate to Microsoft. Everyone will be the same up to this point. Here is where you're going to have to do some searching. First I'm going to check the Edge folder here. And I don't have this folder here. So I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to go back to the Microsoft folder. And I'm going to look under Edge Core. Okay, I did find my version. And like I said, the number's not the same. We're just looking for a version folder. If we go back here, this is not correct because it's not 92. And so we're looking to start with 92. Web view, not there. Temp, not there. So we know that it's in Edge Core for me. It might be in a different folder for you. And inside here, we find the installer folder, which is the next part of our search. Right now, Big Tech is collecting data on everything you do online and building a profile on you for financial gain, and you don't see a penny of it. Take back your privacy and take back control over your connected life by using a reliable VPN. Unsecure websites and public Wi-Fis are the easiest ways hackers can wreak havoc in your lives. But if you have NordVPN with this military-grade encryption, lightning-fast speed, and over 5,000 servers worldwide, you can browse safely and privately. NordVPN also has state-of-the-art, dedicated peer-to-peer -peer servers to protect your usage from your ISP, as well as Big Brother and with advanced obfuscation servers, you can access blocked websites or even streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and more anywhere in the world. NordVPN has a strict no-logs policy and has never and will never be pressured by governments. Take back your privacy today and use my exclusive link in the description to get a huge discount on NordVPN. Stay safe. Now that we have the location of our installer right here, we're going to click up at the path here and then we're going to copy this. You can hit Control c or right click and copy and then you'll want to open up a notepad and so we can take some notes for copying and pasting. Hold Windows key plus R and then just type notepad.exe and hit enter. You can also uh, click in the search and type notepad and hit enter. Either way works. We're gonna go ahead and paste the path here and that's the one that we got from right here. Now the next part we're going to need to add some things to this and I'm going to have this in the description so you, if you don't want to follow along but you're going to add a backslash and this so this part will be in the uh, I'll put the whole thing in there but yours from here to here will be unique to your machine so this version number won't be the same it might be an edge it might be an edge core somewhere else um, but this part will be what you add and also add a quotation to the front so there's going to be a quotation before C and after setup.exe and then we're going to add these extensions here. Once you have all of that, copy it and then you're going to open up an elevated command prompt. The way you do that is you right click on the start menu, open up PowerShell Admin and then type CMD. Another way you can do this, Windows key plus R, type CMD and then hold left control, left shift and then hit enter. Third way you can open up an elevated command prompt is to go into the search and type CMD and then click over here to run as administrator. <clears throat> All of them work. Just click into the command line here and hit control plus V to paste it. And now we have the full command here. After it's all there, hit enter and is now uninstalling Microsoft Edge Chromium version. <clears throat> now that that's done, we're going to make sure that Microsoft doesn't automatically reinstall Edge next Windows update. <clears throat> the easiest way that you can do this is by adding a registry key. Now rather than sending you through regedit and letting you possibly make a mistake or you know anything could happen, well, we're going to do it a real easy way. You're going to open up another notepad, Windows key plus R, notepad.exe, or again you can just go in here into notepad and then open it. Okay. And what you're going to put in this uh, notepad file 
is right here. This is going to be a registry key to tell Chromium and Microsoft not to update Chromium, which is essentially Microsoft Edge. Now, once you've had this pasted just like this, again, this will be in description. Click up to File, Save As, and then down here, Save As Type, change this to All Files. And then you can name it to No More Edge or Edge Remove, whatever you want to name it, and then dot R-E-G, very important. <clears throat> okay, and I save that to my desktop and I can find it right here. Now if I double click on it, it's going to ask me if I want to add these registry key values. Which registry key values? These registry key values. It's going to change this registry key to say do not update Edge, which means don't reinstall Edge next Windows Update. So when I click yes, done. Poof. Edge is gone. So now if you go looking for Microsoft Edge, you type in the search, it's no longer coming up. This here is just a recommendation for you to install it from the Microsoft Store. Here is the registry file that I made over here that we used. And the only way you could ever find any remnants of Microsoft Edge is if you go back to Program Files x86, Microsoft, the files are still here, but it's not installed in the system. And I recommend you just leave these alone because you can come into some stability issues in Windows by messing with Microsoft's files here. So I don't like to uh, mess with that, and people have gotten into trouble in the past. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like it, please click like, subscribe for more. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll see you next time.